Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel on this lovely Monday autumn day in Adelaide. Greeting cards. Is there still a market for greeting cards? Some would say there is. If you're like me and you're a very keen photographer, you've got hundreds and hundreds of photos you've taken stored on your computers and on your hard drives. What do you do with them all? Well, you can print them. I'm sure most of us have got really good home printers. You can print them at just the postcard size and you can make them into greeting cards. Now, the best greeting cards probably to get are the ones that are homemade by your grandkids like that. And uh, these are beautiful. Happy Granddad Day. Love from my two grandkids. And... Um, they have grand, grand, grandparents' days at, high, at schools these days. Happy Father's Day, Granddad. There's another one, homemade by the kids, and these are lovely. However, if you've got all these photographs, you can make your own greeting cards. I've done that over the years. Some of them I've posted out to people and given to people. You could even set up your own business selling them on Etsy or on eBay or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll show you what I mean. These are the sort of things that I put together and these have got an envelope that comes with them. There's a, a photo that has been taken in the outback of Central Australia, a couple of camels. Here's a uh, river scene. A robin, a robin redbreast. These all come with an envelope that, that goes with them. And um, another one of a a king parrot and the sky's the limit really on what you produce just your imagination what you need to do is just get to fold it together and say yeah that way it goes up like that a greeting card folder on your computer put all the photos you want to reprint it on and start printing them I've got heaps that I've printed that I haven't put onto cards yet all sorts of things there's a, a meerkat a baby bird, some uh, Christmas kangaroos that I saw one, one day in someone's yard, a display in someone's yard. So you can do all that. Now, how do you do it? You can actually buy these packets too. That um, You can buy the cards, the envelopes and the packets, and that's what the finished product looks like. You put them in this cellophane packet. These are stacks of packets here. I can't remember how much I paid for these. So how do you make one of these things? So let's just have a quick go. We'll find out what we need for the raw material. I have one picked out here before. So here we go. Here's a... You get different colours of course. Here's a card. We're going to put a photograph on that. Here's, here's a nice camera, an old camera. I did a review on this camera recently on YouTube. So if I want to put that on here, on this card, I've got to somehow affix it to that. Okay, put it on there. So I'll just bring the um, camera in a bit closer and you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, so here we have the photograph. Here we have the blank card. And it's a matter of putting some um, adhesive on the, uh, on, the, on the back of this to affix it. You get these rolls of double-sided tape like that. You buy that in the same places where you buy the cards. And what I do, and, and they're sticky on this side, and you just have to um, cut them. I usually cut them on a bit of an angle like that. Put one there. You need four sides put that one there put that one there I always cut them on a bit of an angle because it seems to be easier to peel the backs off when I cut them on an angle when there's a bit of a point there so so they're all stuck down on this this side here though um, this is um, You've got to peel that back off to stick them on so so we just go here get your finger underneath fingernail underneath that peel that little bit off put that aside whoops 
not wanting to come off in a hurry that one, I'll go to the other end. Now it's coming off. This one here. When you're trying to do this on YouTube, of course, you've got that one off. Best laid plans of mice and men. Doesn't always do what you want to do. Got that one off. Okay, so now we've got those sticky bits exposed on the back there. So it's, now it's just simply a matter of positioning this in the right spot. And you've just got to just this is do, doing it by by line of sight really. So you just put it down there. It's probably best to leave a little bit more space at the bottom than at the top. Try and line it up as best as you can. And then you just flatten it like that. And there you are. There's your greeting card. Of course you can do vertical cards as well as ones that are going to sit there like that. Then it's simply a matter of writing your greeting on the inside. And on the back, if you're serious about this, you, you would write the, the title, your name as the author and the copyright little symbol on the back. You do all that hand printed, you see. So that's as simple as it is to make your own greeting cards out of your own photographs. And, um, you know, they, they look pretty good. As you could see before, here's, here's one. I don't know if I showed you that before. <coughs> Excuse me, in, in its some um, plastic sleeve. Okay. And uh, it's a great product you can produce. Very simple to do. Very inexpensive to do. You could sell lots of these, say, five at a time for, you know, five or six dollars each and make some money out of it and make a little bit of profit. So... There you go. Not that hard, is it? You could really uh, start up your own business doing this if you wanted to. Or a little bit of extra money on the sideline. Some people go as far as creating these sort of craft uh, material to make a really good living out of it. And uh, the sky's the limit. There are other YouTube videos that tell you how to do all that. But that's just what I do uh, in my spare time. Occasionally I get inspired to do that sort of thing. I printed up a whole lot of photos last night. but. Uh, not hard, is it? So I hope you found that interesting to watch. It's quite simple. Uh, you, I'm sure you can source the supplies wherever you live um, or even order them online probably to, to do this sort of card making. And uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. And uh, like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you wish. And uh, I'll see you next time.